everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you came from my last video or you watched my last video, you remember that I said that I wasn't a huge fan of the um, Louis Vuitton multiple wallet. Um, the way that the wallet settled over time, just, uh, I didn't like very much. It wasn't very comfortable and it kind of forced me to rethink how I carry my cards and cash and all that. And um, I decided after having the multiple wallet, which is a little bit bigger, that I would get into the pocket organizer. Now, as you can see, it's become a little bit of an obsession. Um, but what we'll do is we'll do a tour of the pocket organizer in Damier Ben. Um, it's the one that I've used the most, so it's got a little bit of wear on it. Um, and it still looks brand new, honestly, but um, I'll show you that one and see how it's settled. And uh, I'll take you through all of the, uh, the interior. I'll show you why this is just as good as a multiple wallet. Um, you'll spend less money, number one, and it holds almost the same amount of uh, items. So why don't we jump right in? Um, for those that don't remember, here is the multiple wallet. And one of the things that I didn't like about it was the way it settled from being in my back pocket. And so um, I'm gonna work on trying to get that to get back to the normal shape. But um, yeah, after having this in my back pocket for so long and taking it out every time I get in the car, I decided, Let's try a slim wallet. Let's see how it goes. And uh, I have to say I like it better. So just to compare apples to apples, here is the Damier Aben pocket organizer. Front and back. And as you can see, it um, same pattern, Damier Aben. Logo in the same place. Um, it is a little bit more compact, but uh, like I said, just as functional. And so here's the front again and the back. What I usually do is I'll put cash in here or a card that I need to access, like the, the credit card that I use the most. And it's held up pretty well. Um, it does feel a little bit looser, obviously, than the day I bought it. And here's a brand new one. We can care, compare them side by side. Um, this one, I haven't even taken all the junk out yet. So um, obviously, it looks like I've, I've been holding stuff in here, whereas like a new one has no sign of that whatsoever. And then on the front, you can see a little bit of... Uh, looks a little inflated because of the cards that have been in there, but let's take a look at why I like this so much. So first of all, there's there's really no space specifically for cash, but if you remember the multiple wallet, um, on one side you could fit about three credit cards, on the other side you could fit about three credit cards, and this is kind of the same situation. Um, I usually put my license and a couple of other cards here. Um, the Tesla's key is a it's a plastic card with a chip in it. And so I keep that in here with my driver's license and then I keep my pilot's license in here. And then I have three different credit cards that I keep in here. Um, and no problem whatsoever. It closes nicely, it closes tight, it fits in the front pocket, the back pocket. It's it's nice and slim um, and it's easy to move around in. I even usually put business cards in here. And so, um, you know, I'll, I'll toss a couple business cards in there, three credit cards, three cards here. And then I'll just stick a little bit of cash in here. Now I don't use cash much. If you do use a lot of cash, this might not be the wallet for you unless you really wanna jam it in there or you carry um, a small amount of bills. But um, for me, I usually will keep, I don't know, anywhere from 60 to $100 just in case. And uh, I've had no problem folding it up three times and just jamming it in there and then not thinking about it. But um, when the cards are in there, it, it closes nice and tight. Um, it, it really doesn't stay bulky. So. Um, I have to say, if, if you're in the market for a wallet, um, these go, the, uh, the, you know, the standard prints with out embellishments here are starting at 375 here in the United States, um, which I think for a Louis Vuitton product is actually pretty affordable. If you want to get your feet wet or really kind of test the quality on a day-to-day -day use, this is the way to do it. I've been using this one pretty consistently for a few months. And like I said, aside for a little bit of stretching, um, it's held up really well. Um, I know the glare might show a little bit more wear and tear, but if you look at it in person, it really looks like it's brand new uh, still, except for the, the stretching. Um, but what we can do next is, uh, while we have you, this is a Damier Graffiti one. Um, again, this is brand new. I haven't even used it yet. So it still has the card and, um, you know, the, the code and everything from here. Um, I believe this one was made in France. France. Most of my Damier Ben stuff is made in France and most of my graffiti stuff is made in Spain. 
And so, as you can see, made in Spain. I actually did get one of these online that was made in France. And I know some people really like the fact uh, that they have a product that's, that's made in France because it feels, I don't know, more authentic or the craftsmanship is better or something. I don't notice any difference, but um, I, I had to return it because it did have a, a blemish right here. And I'm not really picky, but it was like really in your face. And it was like the first thing I looked at when I took it out of the box. So um, they swapped it out at the store for me. And then here we go. Same format, obviously, same exact piece. Um, so we won't spend too much time on this, but here's the graffiti and the Eben side by side. Logo placement, everything is the same. Same cuts of canvas, just different types, different patterns. And then again, you can see a little bit of the stretching on the, uh, the one on the left and the one on the right is still brand new, but I'm sure they will both look like this over time. I don't know, it's like, oh, why do you have so many wallets? My wife asks me that all the time. Um, but honestly, I, I used to use the same wallet for like years and years and years before this, but um, these are almost like little pieces of art. <laughs> I don't know. I think the pandemic had something to do with it. We weren't going on vacation, and um, my wife and I kind of turned this into a little retail therapy. So um, here we are buying wallets and purses that we won't use that often, but um, I do love it. I do have a couple of day bags, and... Uh, the more and more pieces I, I got, the more and more I realized that um, I'm kind of a Damier Graffiti person. And so um, I did get a, a keep all um, in the Aben, and I almost regret it now because uh, I've got a couple of day bags. And, and the bag that I'll eventually use to, to bring my laptop back into the office is um, of the same pattern here. So I do like to, to match it. And then this is actually a piece I got a while ago, and it is still available. Um, these two retail for three seventy-five. I think this one was four sixty-five, um, but this one is really cool. Um, obviously, it, it looks like the same pattern as the Dummy Graffiti, but when I when I saw this in person, I couldn't turn it down. It was like it, it felt like something that was sponsored by like a, a I don't know a Formula One or something. Um, but so same principle, same pocket, same everything, but it has this kind of red embellishment around it. And this is, this is a thick material. I don't even know what material this is, but, um, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. The edges are a little bit sharp. I don't know if it's as comfortable as the other one, but when I opened it up and it had this red pattern, I'm like, oh, okay, I need that. And so here again, this is made in France. Um, it's, it's really similar to this one. Um, they do use the same coated canvas um, on the inside of this one as they use on the outside, which is nice too. It's not just standard cowhide letter lining, but um, this red is just so nice. I couldn't turn it down. Like I said, it feels like something uh, like sponsored by Formula One or Ferrari or something like that. And so, um, yeah, I love this, but I don't use it much because it's like kind of like I, I just want to keep it safe and sound. I don't want to stretch it out or anything. And so this is, like I said, almost like an art piece for me where I don't want to use it much. But um, I absolutely love this wallet. And uh, as you know, with, with some of the uh, kind of special edition things, they don't last long, you know, like they'll be in the store one day and then the next day they're gone. So um, I want to make sure I kind of preserve that maybe for special occasions or anything. Whereas um, items like this, will always be there. Um, these are what the brand is built off. These are original designs and patterns. And so um, they, they'll they'll be available. So I have no problem using it. Um, though I say that I was looking for a passport cover in this print and I waited and waited because I'm not traveling due to, to COVID right now. And uh, it's been discontinued. So I ended up having to get it in this print. And if you want to see the passport cover, go ahead and stay tuned. Um, we're going to record that one right after this. And so keep an eye out and we will do a uh, Louis Vuitton passport cover review shortly. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.